Protection and the Belize Bank. Our country, your bank. Good evening, I'm James Salarelli. Welcome to this edition of Sports Monday. The national anthem rendered by the Moreno sisters Sole and Julie heralded the arrival of the second National Elite Basketball League tournament Friday night inside San Ignacio. And as usual, the Sacred Heart College Auditorium was packed to capacity. Nevertheless, the introduction of the home team last year's sub-champion Western Ballers was propelled to the next level, pulling out all stops with lights, songs, and smoke in a presentation that will be difficult to surpass. Tonight, the Ballers play host to the newest addition to the NEBL, Belize Hurricanes under head coach Matthew Smiling, a new team venturing into a tournament with ferocious competition. Keita Costa, making his first appearance in a Ballers uniform, got his team going early, taking Leon Williams to the hoop, and he goes glass for two of his game. 10 points. Lindbergh Graham sinks this triple as the Hurricanes climb to a two-point lead. However, when big man Kurt Burgess feeds Richard Troyer inside the paint, he beats Winston Pratt, finishes the layup, is fouled and would make it a three-point play to give the Ballers a 17-12 to 12 lead. At the end of the first quarter, the Ballers lead 19-14. to 14. Roger Troyer plays the give and go with Ivan Flowers, the point guard, to get the second quarter going and sinks the reverse. Troyer would lead all players tonight with 20 points. After this miss shot by Graham, Jermaine Small grabs the loose ball and converts. Small would score three of the 11 hurricane points in the second quarter. 11 is the number of points Jermaine Small totaled in this ball game. In the meantime, the baller's offense is relentless and unforgiving. Ivan Flowers wants three. Ivan Flowers gets three and would finish with an impressive 17 points tonight. At the half, the host team shows a 43 to 25 lead. In the third, Winston Pratt gets his offense going after an uninspiring first half play. He hangs for two off the glass. Nevertheless, the Ballers would go on to pick up the win in an 85 to 52 W against a Hurricane team that had a rough baptism into the big leagues. Well, to be tested by the best team in the league, I don't know what else you could ask for. At least we know where we stand as a team. The team is only practicing two weeks because we didn't get, well, the, the, the franchise owners didn't get a go ahead until it, the, we started um, camp the 12th of January. We had two weeks for camp and then two weeks of practicing. Um, again, it's no excuse, but we know we can get better. Um, we get the tapes and we look at the tapes and make our adjustments. I think the team, from what I see in practice, we have a better team than last year. We're more of a cohesive unit. The ball moves freer. Um, we got some better guys coming off the bench, in my opinion. No, no, no offense to last year's team, but I just think we we're, we're more. Last year we we succeeded on a lot of individual talent. This year we're more of a cohesive team. In other action around the league. The other Belize City team, smart no limit, ran into a bolsa at Langriga and were chewed up 78-54 to by a tough warrior team. Orange Walk running Rebels ran past the Toledo Diplomats 80-65 to and San Pedro Tiger Sharks, the defending champion, mauled the new and improved Belmopan Red Tigers 100-65. to Looking to this weekend, Friday night finds the Cayo Western Ballers traveling to the San Pedro Tiger Sharks. This going to be a monster show. Toledo Diplomats will host Belmopan Red Tigers. OW Running Rebels will visit the Dangriga Warriors. And here in Belize City at the Belize Elementary Gym, it's the battle of the city as Belize City No Limit takes on Belize Hurricane. Now let's play catch up with week two of the PLB closing football season. So we head to the Isidoro Beaton Stadium for Saturday's clash between Police United and the Placentia Texmar Assassins. Folks, we're only 12 minutes into the action when this takedown by the police inside the box leads to a penalty call. Lewis Torres steps up and beats Keith Allen with a death touch to the far corner as Texmar takes the one zip lead. Three minutes later, police responds. Devon McKin picks out Harrison Cafo Roaches and the header knocks the score at one apiece. The police gets this chance to grab the lead when Marlon Mesa mounts the individual effort that is foiled only by a wonderful save from the Placentia keeper, Jesus Urbina. 
Folks, this is the beautiful game. Watch Clinton West with the perfect pass to Byron Usher, whose finish is impeccable as Police United surge to the 2-1 lead four minutes after intermission. Marlon Mesa then gets this look at an empty Texmar goal, but tarries enough for Jesus Urbino to recover and make a save that he didn't know too much about. It's Delon Torres on the attack when he spots his brother Ashley Torres, who beats Jermaine Jones and Keith Allen to the ball to make it a 2-2 ball game. Folks, when Devon McKin finds Harrison Cafu Roaches, he heads to Clifton West, whose header returns the lead to the law at the 73rd minute of play, and we've got a good one going. If people, you know it's never over till it's over. Delon Torres seeks and finds Norman, Tillyman, Nunes, and the wily veteran's right foot punch finds a spot even the best goalkeeper in the world can do nothing about it it happens at the 87th minute of play and the ball game ends up in a 3-3 tie like we say make hay while the sun shines in other action around the league Verdad FC used the Norman Barstow Stadium to embarrass FC Belize in a three zip route at Belmopan bandits crush Wagia FC by that very same score while inside the Carl Ramos the Belize Defense Force marched over King Energy Freedom Fighters in a 3-1 blast. In high school football news, the Central Division female champion emerged over the weekend as St. Catherine's Academy got two goals from Gabriela Mendoza to Blanc when Liz in a 2-0 affair. And we say congratulations to SCA. On the male side, Gwen Liz continued its hunt for the 2015 title with goals from Devon Zuniga and Nayan Wilson who defeated St. John's College in a 2-1 affair. SJC's sole goal came from Dimitri Fabro. The season continues, so stay tuned. On to the cycling scene. Ray Katus of Syria won the 11.5-mile weekend Warriors individual time trial held on the boom circuit yesterday. Robert Mariano of Digicel 4G took second. Warren Kawe of Santino's third. Stephen Bissett fourth. And Kent Gabriel took fifth. The individual times remained unavailable going to press time. Turning to the domino scene, Belize City won the Belican Stout Nationals Saturday at Mike's Q Club in Belmopan by stopping Stan Creek 50 to 35. Punta Gorda took third place by getting past Orange Rock 50 to 42. In closing folks, here's the quick look. Belize Bank Bulldogs beat Grace Kennedy 4-3 to, to take the Charles Solis Memorial Softball Championship stage at Rajas Stadium. We say congratulations to Hortensia Richardson of the two-time champion who walked away with MVP honors. Hey folks, in closing, here's a reminder that the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. That's it. We invite you back same time, same place next week. Ja! Over all. I'm James Allerly. Sports Monday was brought to you by Berger Paints for lasting beauty and